Hi hello viewers, welcome back to my channel once again. This is your Lawrence. In this video, we're gonna look at the exception login using log for net, which is a third-party application. We can log the exception or information or error or a warning, whatever it is. We can log into the text file that we can store that in uh, somewhere else in the server, somewhere else in your local desktop. I'm using ASP.NET MVZ application here. You can create whatever application it can be web forms, Windows forms, or a web API, whatever the application it is, you can use this third party plugins to access it to create an efficient exception logins. Let's get started. As you can see, I have created one ASP.NET MVZ application in here. There's a basic MVZ application. Now in the home controller, in an index action result, I just gonna log it and we're gonna create a custom error and show you how to error your exceptions. So in order to do that, first, just right click on the project. You can go to manage new kit packages. In that manage new kit packages, just go to browse, type log for net. Once you type it, the very first result is log for net. Go ahead and install the latest stable version. Once it has successfully installed, you can go to global.asax. In global.asax, you have to type log4net.config.xml configurator.config. It will give us some necessary configurations from the web.config to our application. And this is done. Then go to web.config. In the web.config, just put the config section under the configuration. This is config section. It takes a log for net and the configuration. Then just create a tag called log for net. In the log for net, you gotta create appender. This is appender. This is a log for net template. In this template, we can give our necessary configuration to our log file. We gotta give a file value. The file value has to be which folder you wanna save the file. Now, I am taking the log. I am a uh, categorizing a log with the dates so that we can give a file value and where you have to give on a date you can give on a date format like this it can be any format this is you can customize it next give a necessary configurations once you say static log file name value false this file name log file name will change day by day or will change according to your configuration. If it sets true, the date pattern no longer can work because you the static file name is set true. Uh, what If that is a file name is log, it always be log. You cannot change the file name. When it's going to the exception and you are using uh, real time real world applications, you may have to uh, control many lines of exceptions. For example, if that is a web API working around with a thousand users, each and every users will work for a day. You cannot control that much of data in a single file so that I am categorizing with a date. Then append to file is true because in the same file, we are appending a daily data. Maximum file says you can uh, do it and roll backups, you can do it. Then we have to create a layout, which format that our exception has to be logged. This is a layout. There are many conversion patterns you can create it. This is as per your customization, but this is a very simplest way. At the moment you'll see a log, you can easily find which what has happened in your application. I'll give you, uh, I'll give this code in a description. You can go ahead and uh, take this and utilize it for your application. Once you're done, you have to create a root the root specifies the appender, which means if you are creating one or more log files, for example, it can be an exception log. If I am creating another log for information logs, 
you can specify as a information logs you have to give the appender in here in order to register it so that's it you can save it now we are going to create a globalized class which we can use across our application now in the projects itself i am creating a class called logger logger.cs in logger file we're going to do a configurations we have to create a functions for informations or uh, our logging credentials not credentials our logging parameters or methods wait only logger and create instance protected ilog which is an interface which used to buy the log for net and you can create this as a monitoring log you can import the log for net and we gotta do the constructor here we have to ensure assign this monitoring log to the log manager good logger and simply specify this as monitoring log now there are many ways to log that is a debug log one fatal and error logs are there now in my application most of the cases we use informations and errors that's what i want to create we can create like public static void i'm setting this as info info takes message In the instance monitor log dot here you can have info and pass the message in the same way I can create a method called error this we can use it for logging errors and message along with the message we have to take an exceptions here you can pass a message and the exceptions by specifying this as an error. Great. That's enough as of now. Now everything has set up. In home controller, before returning view, you know, try catch exceptions. Here our class name is logger dot error in the error. We can set a message like error on this is the first parameter. The second parameter has to be exception. And inside the try, I just want to give like int data is equal to one plus one. I'm giving a log. as an info information on we can provide this as a day that's it save it now we can run it once our application started to run in a c folder where we have mentioned in our web.config file in a c temp log and today's date that what it takes in a c folder inside the temp we have a log and today's date when you open it this is a way of logging first i have given what kind of log is this info and the time 
and our logger information. See, in a home controller, I have given the information like this. What if we are getting an error? For example, int array is equal to new int array of five. I am assigning the data as array seven. Save it, run it. Once the application has run, we can look at the error message. There is an error message called the error, and the time, and the error on the index out of range exception. This is the way to log our exceptions. This is the way to log our information. You can learn about the configurations in Log4Net. You have to make sure you are configuring it correct. You are giving a proper file name and the date pattern, pattern and the pattern layout. There is a many layout types are available and many conversion patterns are available. It is customizable, but you have to choose one of the layout from the log format. I'm giving the link in the description as well. You can go ahead and check it. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like, press the like button. If you have any doubts, you can comment me or reach me out to my Facebook page. Just subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon to get my latest video updates. Thank you.